the Yamnaya culture, which thrived around 3300 to 2600 BCE on the Pontic Caspian steppe, is a pivotal archaeological and genetic link that unites all Indo-Europeans worldwide. The word Yamnaya derives from the Russian word for pit. The culture got its name from its distinctive Kurgan style of burial. The Yamnaya are believed to have descended from earlier populations of the Russian steppe, notably the Sredny Stag and Kvalinsk cultures. These preceding cultures laid the groundwork for the Yamnaya, both in terms of lifestyle and genetic ancestry. The Yamnaya are often recognized as some of the earliest true pastoralists, relying heavily on herding cattle, sheep, and horses. However, evidence suggests that some Yamnaya groups, particularly those in the western regions closer to Ukraine, also practiced agriculture, blending pastoral and farming lifestyles. Genetically, the Yamnaya people represent an admixture of two distinct ancestral groups, Eastern hunter-gatherers and Caucasus hunter-gatherers. They had minor admixture from contacts with Copper Age farmer communities in Eastern Europe. In terms of genetics, the Yamnaya men carried predominantly the paternal haplogroup R1b, M269, which originated from the Eastern hunter-gatherers, while their maternal lineages were more varied, with haplogroups such as U5 and H, reflecting a mixture of both Eastern hunter-gatherer and Caucasus hunter-gatherer ancestries. The spread of Yamnaya culture and genes into Europe marked the beginning of the Bronze Age in many regions and the dissemination of Indo-European languages. The Yamnaya's expansion into Europe also facilitated the spread of their genetic legacy, with modern populations in Western and Central Europe showing significant Yamnaya ancestry, particularly in paternal lineages. Yamnaya is the Bronze Age group that contributed the most to the genetics of modern Europeans. For this video, I have collected the raw DNA of every academic Yamnaya sample, of which there were 22 in total, and ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. I included Yamnayans from Samara, Kalmykia, Marik, and Ukraine in my sample pool. Of the male samples included, 11 carried R1b, Y lineage, and 2 carried I2a. Let's begin with the phenotype. My trait predictor uses predicted pigmentation, as well as genetic variations relevant to facial morphology, to predict phenotype. Six of the 22 Yamnayans were predicted to exhibit an alpinid phenotype or variations of the alpinid phenotype. Another six were predicted to exhibit Mediterranean phenotypes or variations of the Mediterranean phenotype. Another six were predicted to exhibit a range of Caucasoid South Asian phenotypes. Two were predicted to exhibit non-West Eurasian phenotypes. And one was predicted to exhibit a Nordic phenotype. A common idea online is that East Asian variants for facial morphology and traits in EDR are foreign to Europe and are a symbol of Uralic ancestry in Europeans, but nonetheless two of the 22 Yamnayans carried East Asian EDR variants. Here is a morph of the average Yamnaya phenotype, made by overlaying the phenotypes of my subjects on top of one another, including the non-Caucasoid phenotypes. The most common predicted eye color among the Yamnayans is brown, followed by dark brown, but there were Yamnayans with blue eyes as well. The most common predicted hair color among the Yamnayans is black, followed by dark brown, but there was one sample with a predicted red hair phenotype and one sample with a predicted dark blonde phenotype. The most common predicted skin color among the Yamnayans is light brown, followed by olive, but there were Yamnayans with predicted dark brown and white skin tone as well. Regarding nose shape, there were roughly as many Yamnayans with predicted Greek nose shape as there were Yamnayans with snub noses. Regarding hair texture, the most common predicted hair texture among the Yamnayans is wavy, followed by straight. Not a single individual of the 22 samples was predicted to exhibit a kinky hair texture. Regarding their dopaminergic profile, the Yamnayans show a predisposition to warrior phenotype, which sets them apart from the rest of the world's population who aren't European. Modern Europeans are rather similar to Yamnayans in this regard, being predisposed to slower dopamine reuptake and higher dopamine levels. Regarding D2 receptor availability, the Yamnayans have roughly equal predisposition to decreased and increased availability of D2 receptors, which also sets them apart from the rest of the non-European world, who mostly has increased. Despite this, the Yamnayans show roughly average, if not a slightly increased predisposition to bipolar type 1. The data I collected suggests the Yamnayans were quite predisposed to depression, 
as the number of samples scoring lower levels of 5-HT outnumbered the sampled scoring higher levels of 5-HT 3 to 1. The data I collected also suggests the Yamnayans had a remarkably strong predisposition to autism, as only one sample out of 22 scored lower odds of autism, whereas eight scored higher odds. None of the samples was predicted to be lactase persistent. The Yamnayans also seemed to have average predisposition to empathy based on OXDR genotypes. The Yamnayans had certain genetic superpowers. An ACTN3's variant that has to do with muscle performance and elite strength. The allele that is linked to better athletic performance was overrepresented among the Yamian samples relative to European average. The Yamnayans had some traits that diverge from modern Europeans, and one of those traits is their HLA genotypes. Yamian samples are remarkably healthy when it comes to HLA genotype, much more so than Europeans are. Out of the 22 Yamian samples, only three were predicted to have slightly elevated odds of autoimmune disease, and 19 were predicted to have lower odds of autoimmune disease. The Yamian samples were predicted to have a lower level of plasma homocysteine and lower odds of various cardiovascular issues, which is typical for Europeans as well. The Yamnayans were significantly predisposed to lower odds of obesity, with six individuals scoring lower odds of obesity, with the remaining 16 scoring average odds of obesity. The Yamnayans were strongly predisposed to a higher level of LDL cholesterol, below average level of HDL cholesterol, which is bad, and also predisposed to shorter telomere lengths, which shows a predisposition to shorter lifespan. One thing that also sets Yamnayans in my study apart from the Europeans is the lack of predisposition to various autoimmune conditions such as multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes, especially lack of risk variants for those conditions in the HLA genes. The Yamnayans score below average for the risk of multiple sclerosis and roughly average for the risk of type 1 diabetes, while modern Northern Europeans are strongly predisposed to both conditions. The Yamnayans show a strong predisposition to another autoimmune condition that is known to plague Europeans, though, that is rheumatoid arthritis. Both Koshas and Satserblia hunter-gatherers from the Caucasus scored highest for the risk of rheumatoid arthritis out of all conditions with trait predictor. I hypothesize the Yamnayans might have inherited a predisposition to this autoimmune condition from Caucasian populations. The most common blood types among the Yamnayans were O and A, and 10 of the 22 individuals were predicted to belong to each blood group. There were also two individuals with a predicted B blood group. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the description, which contains links to research material used for this video, as well as links to purchase my software for phenotype, health, and traits prediction. Also consider leaving a like, sharing the video, and commenting what you found insightful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.